What's happening, Soul Fam? So today we're going to be doing a quantum Reiki meditation. Yes, it comes from my own course that I created a while ago, Quantum Reiki. And before we dive into that, I just want to give you a quick recap as to what Quantum Reiki actually is. It is like this, the, the ultimate final form of Reiki, right? After a long time of me spending um, my years kind of like learning different kinds of Reiki styles, I always found out that there was like something bigger missing from it. Like they're all coming from this main channel, but what was that actual main channel? And that's what actually took me on this ride to figure out how to make Reiki one final force. And it was through my journey that I ended up meeting Mikao Usui and Mikao Usui ended up telling me a lot about my mission in this lifetime, which is to be like the next wave of Reiki. So this is gonna come right from that course. If you're looking for one-on-one -on -one coaching, go ahead and send me a DM on Instagram saying Clarity Call or check out the link below this video or in my bio in general. So you can set up a call and we can figure out how to ascend your vibration as quickly as possible, mastering all of your psychic abilities and turning your reality into something absolutely magical, all right? So no more delay, let's get into this meditation. We are in the same room together right now. Time and space is an illusion. If you really wanna start bending your reality at a drastic rate, you have to understand that time and space are illusions, okay? So first of all, we're gonna take a deep breath. We're gonna connect with all the space around us. You're just gonna set that intention and you're just gonna roll with it. You're gonna feel yourself expand as you feel yourself expand and you might be feeling everything around you. You're gonna take a deep breath in and exhale. That's a regular breath. But now we're gonna breathe in the breath of life and exhale. We're going to do about like 10 of these breaths of life, okay? The breath of life impacts your solar plexus chakra and it impacts your soul. It allows you to bring in this magical energy that revitalizes not only your mind, but it also re revitalizes your mind um, in terms of like the astral aspects of your mind and your soul, okay? So we're going to do 10 deep breaths. Imagine that you're breathing in this really juicy, beautiful yellow energy and through your nose down into your lungs and into your solar plexus, okay? It is called the energy of breath of life, okay? And exhale anything that does not work for you. Really feel that breath go in through your nose, down into your solar plexus. And you gotta let go of whatever it is that your solar plexus wants to let go of. Ten breaths of breath of life. You might be feeling like your mind's expanding or your solar plexus is like starting to spin. And let's not lose this momentum, okay? You're going to go ahead and you're going to close your hands like this, two fists, and you're going to put them to your side, almost like you're doing a Dragon Ball Z pose. And you're going to focus all the energy at your solar plexus, okay? So you're going to feel all that energy of the breath of life step into your solar plexus and gather and spin and spin and spin into your solar plexus. Are you ready? Hands closed to your side. I usually have them like this to my side. Ready? And that sound is just coming out naturally. If you need to make sounds as you exhale, go ahead. Feel your solar plexus chakra expand, expand, expand. Get stronger, get stronger, get stronger. And as I'm doing this outside, the sun is starting to blast. The more I embrace 
the breath of life, the sun starts coming out. And I can even feel the wind around me start moving. So don't lose this momentum if you're feeling it. You can hear the wind coming. This is the breath of life. This breath of life is the same breath of life that goes through newer code three, the light code that I've created on my uh, YouTube channel. And I'm not trying, I'm just picking in and breathing in that life energy, that breath of life and filling my soul in with the, the oxygen of this breath of life into the lungs of my soul. Lately, I've been teaching a lot about Atlantean alchemy. If you've seen my other posts about mani manifesting on YouTube or Instagram, you're going to see how those videos of talking about how your yin and your yang, the outside and the inside, are both connected through Atlantean alchemy, right? So my breath of life is the same breath of life that oxygenates the animals, that gives to my neighbors, that gives to Mother Earth. My breath of life is connected to the breath of life of Gaia. So the breath of life that I exist with right now is the same breath that's going to run through the light photons that feeds my mind. So right now, it's still a combination of breath of life from Quantum Reiki and a light of the mind from the neurocodes. Ready? Breathing in breath of life, exhaling anything that is not breath of life. And now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna breathe in through my left nostril, light of the mind. And exhale breath of life. I'm gonna breathe in breath of life. Exhale light of the mind. Now I'm going to breathe in both at the same time. And I'm going to feel that energy going down into my solar plexus. It's normal that it, when you do this, you start seeing light. You may open and part the skies. You might even have distractions like that come in to try to distract you from actually tapping into this energy. I'm just gonna follow my power, embrace the light of the mind through every portion of my being. Most importantly, my sacral and solar plexus chakras because my sacral chakra controls my emotional space. Your emotions affect your mind. So I am one with the light of the mind and I am one with the breath of life. And I give myself to that frequency and I let that frequency expand and I ingest that frequency. I am one with Mother Earth and the breath of life that Mother Earth has provided each and every one of her beings of her children on this earth. I'm grateful for that breath of life and I'm grateful for the clarity that I can bring into my mind. It's a cloudy day here in Detroit and I love doing this because I'm basically weather bending, cloud bending. I posted a meme not too long ago uh, about how when you shamans realize that nature and themselves are one in the same you do things like summon rain or make the sun blast or make the wind move because there's no space right there's no space space is something that activates in the third dimension okay space is what controls the third dimension heavily and time would be the next level that we have to step into which is the fourth dimension 
So this is our quick meditation for today. Go ahead and share it with whoever needs some solar plexus energy. Go ahead and share it with anyone who needs a little bit of more breath of life into their soul or anyone who needs to clear their mind, all right? Share this, share this, share this. I love you. And if you're looking for one-on-one -on -one coaching, go ahead and set up your appointment with me as soon as you can because there's no better time than right now to accelerate your ascension. I'll talk to you soon.